No, as a matter of fact, I appreciate the beach more when there's no sunlight. If you go to the beach when there's overcast and fog, oof, it's beautiful, you know. You don't find a lot of people there, though. So you find a couple of derelicts under under uh, the pier, and they're just like, hey, man, you got some spare change? And I'm like, of course not. Nobody carries, you know, money around them. And then they whip out an iPhone, and they're like, that's okay. I take PayPal. And I'm like, bro, 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 come on. No, I, I you think I'm joking. I have had, quote unquote, homeless people approach me with iPhones. Like I'm going to swipe my credit card in their like little payment app they have there. No, just swipe your credit, credit card. It'll help me get a, a meal. Uh, what are you kidding me? Sure, sure. Right after I go on a dark web and order some questionable items, too, and just give my credit card to just some random person. You laugh. It's not a joke. Well, that's all they can do now. That's literally all they can do. Because nobody has change. So the panhandlers had to adapt. Don't worry. It's a secure connection. I'm using an iPhone. Nothing bad ever happens with an iPhone. I'll trust that guy. Sure. It's not like I'm using an Android that's been jailbroken. You know? I'm, I, look, I'm a verified PayPal user. Get away from me. There are people, like, they want you to do wireless payments, too. And I'm like, are you out of your mind? You know? You're out of your mind. You're absolutely insane. I'll give them cash. I will totally give them cash. And then they get bent out of shape about it. You know, like, oh, man, now I can't transfer this to my offshore account. Yeah. Do you ever offer them literal blood money? Like, you pay, they bare their necks for a few fluid ounces? You think I want bum juice? No, thank you. Right? Even I got standards. Okay. I don't want bum juice, all right? One, it sounds weird. Two, I don't know where they've been. Come on. Hashtag bum juice. Great. That'll be the one thing I'm known for. Dude, you... Dude, bro, you gotta watch this VTuber vampire. He said the word bum juice. Ugh. That's the that's the thing about the internet. You'll never know what catches on. And it's something like that that probably would. Yeah, he's he's that guy that started the hashtag bum juice. Well, th okay, here's the thing. That started the uh I want to say the nouveau riche of uh you know, quote unquote homeless. And I say quote unquote homeless because last time I was awake and running around, you know, the the, the city as it were. You would there were so many quote unquote homeless goths and punks in the village area of Manhattan that they would be like, oh, I, I just need some money because I'm homeless, etc. I'm like, dude, your hair, your hairstyle, your hair color, your leather jacket that you got from a vaudeville trash that cost $300, the Doc Martens that are probably about 500 right now, the chain, dude, come on. So they got wise because they would be able to spot people who would know better, you know, because if you frequent in those areas, you know where vaudeville trash was and what their inventory entailed. So if you saw somebody wearing it on the street, you'd be like, dude, I know where you got that. Come on, you know, um, but generally like they'd start going after the tourists. They'd be like, oh, this guy has no idea what's going on. All the ripped clothing I'm wear wearing to them actually makes me look like I'm homeless. Not some trendy poser who kept buying their merch at some, you know, underground shop at the time. 